Hello, everyone. The theme here, and I just want to, man, report on a little thing that I just found out about. And it may be little to some, and for some, I think it's a big, big, big deal. So Mark Laidlaw, an employee of Valve for 18 years, and he was a writer for both Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2, has retired. So now there are a lot of people out there that are just like, no, ah, oh, god damn it, because they think the obvious about this. They think that the obvious is that there's going to be no Half-Life 3. He's just a writer, but this is a big deal. You've got to understand that Half-Life 3 is one of those games that most gamers have been waiting on for decades. It's funny how in 2015, there were games that were waited on for decades and they were even had sequels or remakes of them. So with this, it's like, damn it. Of course, the obvious, Half-Life 3. Is it still a possibility or is it just gone, dead, kaput, just over with? Are we ever going to see it? Or are they already done with it and just biding their time? Are they waiting? Are they just like, we're just going to hold it and hold it and hold it? But people are, are way past impatient about this. Some people have just plain moved on, and I don't blame them. I mean, who wants to sit there and wait for a game that maybe will never, ever surface? Is there a possibility for Half-Life 3? I mean, I don't know. I mean, as as people start to retire, leave, or go on to do a, uh, bigger and better things, or just just say fuck it and just leave the video game industry altogether, it just you know, or or companies totally change. Those games basically go with it, or they're never the same as they were before. If they do come out with sequels, or if they do come out with remixes of the games that everybody wants. I mean, look what happened to Sega. You know, Sega went the way to the Dodo, and look at all their games since then. There hasn't been total, 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 like, quality ever since Sega became a third-party publisher. You got fucking Konami that's not even a fucking video game company anymore. Oh, yeah, they make pachinkos. They even have slot machines. But... This is, oh, God. Again, many people are Half-Life fans. And many people are like, Half-Life 3, come on. Half-Life 3, come on. Every fucking year, they've been saying that. So now, what does this mean? That one of the writers is gone. After 18 years of working with Valve, he's gone. And it's like, I really do hope that Half-Life 3 surfaces. I hope that eventually the game actually comes out and it is actually great. But now, I mean, I don't want to be pessimistic about this, but you got to be realistic about this. There are two ways that this can go. Either it's already done or it's never going to get done. So, I don't know. I just... You know, when I read about this, I was quite disappointed, but understand, I understand certain people, you know, they want to move on or they get burnt out or they just want to wash their hands or they just say, well, one of his explanations is that he was just getting old and he just felt like moving on. And I, I understand, you know, that happens to a lot of people that they just want to move on and just you know, leave everything in the past. Maybe it's this is his way of saying, okay, we're not going to work on Half-Life 3, I'm out. Maybe he was just tired of waiting, or he suggested Half-Life 3. He's like, look, I got the strip already, let's let's do this. And Valve was like, no, we're not going to do it. And, and he just said, okay, all right, I'm out, I'm gone. I don't want to deal with this anymore. If you don't want to do it, then 
yeah, I'm I'm gone. I'm out. See ya. So, I mean, this is, it, it's just messed up, but it's, it's the way it is as far as right now. It's reality, and there's nothing that we can actually do about that as far as it being reality. Uh, or like I said before, I hope, I hope, beyond hope, that Half-Life 3 actually surfaces and actually comes out someday. But now, it's uh, highly unlikely as far as I'm concerned because of this news. So, that's, uh, wow. Any questions, comments, opinions about this, I would like to hear it. So, once again, for the benefits of common sense, logic, and gaming, this is the theme. And I'll see you later. Credits.